Let's start with the unboxing. You'll find a bag with the small parts we discussed. And it's this is the cool part, of course. The uh, limited edition plate number 001. The memory stick, the panels, well, everything we're going to need. The front with the Death Star and pattern, and we're going to be mounting the windowsill plates to this. This thing is huge. find the decal sheet between the floor and the um, and the television box. On the side you'll find the uh, the consoles. Now look around the box. Um, these are aluminum brackets that you'll need for Standalone uh, use, well, you won't even need them, but they're just there for security reasons. I'll get into that later. And then, somewhere in the peanuts mess. Yes, yes, as Jeremy Clarkson would say, these are the windowsill plates. Okay. And then, boom! A very cool 24 inch. Samsung LED TV monitor. Okay, so um, for those of you who've watched the detail version of this, it's very much the same thing. Just take out these window sills. And we're going to go in the same order as for the detail version. So you have two long, two short ones, where the two long ones, as you can see, uh, uh, they ha consist of one that has an, a little bit of an angle here and one that is straight. The one that is completely straight at the bottom goes on top and then this one goes in the bottom. So since we're going to be starting with the bottom one, let's uh, bend these back first to about 45 degrees to start with. Those, uh, this is a quite heavy machined aluminum but we've carved in special slots in the back so you can uh, uh, you can bend these back very easily. Um, so while we're working on this, it's good to have this 3M stuff already mounted on the panel, uh, the panel, the metal for the panel. Um, so this is pretty unique stuff. It's 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 basically uh, just glue, and uh, and usually there's double-sided tape, so there's a carrier uh, material, but that's not the case here. So as with all glue, you want to give it time to set. So just apply one layer of this stuff and it's always the you have to take off the layer without the 3M logos first stick it on there and leave it on there so when we're ready for it the, the glue will have uh, adhered uh, the best po way possible to the metal so let's do that I'll have my son Luke do that off screen while we do the rest alright so I suggest you pre-bend the uh, window sills in both cases to make sure there's no extra tension that the glue has to solve. Okay, so remember the one in the bottom has a slight angle as you can see it doesn't touch the center of the tabletop whereas for this one it does. This is the one that goes on top the one that has a slight bend to it goes in the bottom and we'll just there might be a little bit of cutting residue, you can just take that off with your fingers. So let's place that here to keep it away from the 3M as long as possible. You want the you want it centered and 
it has to stick out a little bit. So when I feel it sticks out just about the same here as it does there, I'll just go down and press it down like that. Hold it in place for a little while and that should be good to go pretty soon. So while we're bending the aluminum, or I should say after you just did the initial bend, keep the outside of the panels in, in place and try to bend the inside back down so you get that weird angle going that's going on in the Death Star. top next. Same principle. Make sure it sticks out evenly. Push it up. Hold it in place for a while. Lay it flat. Foam. There we go. Now it's time to get the super glue. You pierce the foil with the top and then screw on the cap, screw off the top of the cap, and then it's ready to be applied. Now this stuff is very thin, which is what we want, capillary action and all that. And we start by the edges. Blow it in, like that. And we work. back like that. We'll do the same on this end. Alright, so this is the protective foil that uh, protects the beautiful glossy black finish that uh, is going to be on the panels. These panels will uh, we'll first see a decal and then we'll mount them here. So um, you see why we ship them with the protective foil still on. The really thin super glue, get it straight into that ledge work from outside to the inside blow to get it in there all right so slide the side panels in last all right so there's slight tension on the sides the way we want it because we want a very snug fit and we have the super glue to help us out. So if we're happy with the fit then we press it into the side like that and get the super glue. Like that. for a little while and it should be good. All right, so the final panel is also in. Again, super glue, hold it in place, blow on it. 
and we're good. And then I like to finalize the angle of the side panels once everything is in there. So, uh, all right, so once you're done, it should look like this. We'll leave this to dry for a little bit. And we'll move on to those consoles. So, make sure the console panels are free of dust. Let's try to center it. Start up high. Go down. That looks pretty sweet. So again, center it, start up high and center, and it should give you a perfect fit. Check clean of dust, center on the top. Like that. So <clears throat> then let's do the panel front. So center it as high as it'll go. Alright, so while I've been doing all this other stuff, the uh, 3M glue had had uh, time to dry. So, very carefully peel back the top foil. Do ensure that the glue stays on there. Pull in the same parallel to the surface. Then Center it and drop it like that. And uh, the same goes for the other eight panels. All right, so I don't know about you, but I think those are some pretty cool looking Death Star consoles. Too bad my Death Star gunner isn't in. So now let's look and unbox this very cool LED TV monitor. So, first we'll find uh, the remote and the power adapter, this is important. And then, in my case, a European plug. And then the very cool screen. Now I'm going to leave the oil on, so please forgive me there. Um, okay, so I put everything uh, uh, flat, some bubble wrap underneath to protect the front. Uh, I slid in the TV, you can just lift this thing up, slide the TV on. Uh, I left the protective foil on the screen, that's a good idea until you're totally done. Then you can see the power outlet here, line that up with the uh, opening you find here and get the black bolts, the four black bolts from your uh, kit. There are also some bare metal ones, those are for the optional brackets you can uh, mount here if you do with the standalone if you don't put it in a cabinet um, and you twist these in by hand so you know you're not forcing any thread 
don't tighten it all the way just so uh, you're able to uh, you know realign everything and line it up the way you want and then we plug in the power and we put it up straight and we're already seeing some movement here get the remote as you see it still works through even though the TV is mounted no isn't that brilliant guys whatever it doesn't matter um, you can also choose to do this um, later, skip this part, but uh, it should be alright. Next, it's done. Alright, so I got the uh, USB flash drive uh, from the box and uh, I uploaded the movie to it that I cannot um, send with the box for legal reasons. So every certified purchase can contact me at info at Jazz Inc. Designs or through the website or whatever. Uh, I will put uh, the uh, information in the link below as well and uh, get a download for this movie. For the true scale and ultimate versions, I've put sound uh, with the clip. So you can, if you want, have some Death Star sounds. I will uh, see how that sounds when I plug it in now. So we go to the side of the TV, use the 5 volt USB uh, port that you find on the side of the Samsung TV. Turn it on. As you see, it works even mounted in here. And yes, the Empire was sponsored by Samsung. You heard it from me first, people. So uh, then we get the remote and we get to the media player button, which is right below the, the volume button, which is one of the reasons we selected this television. Uh, great price performance, great image quality. Uh, the thing works even mounted and it has a separate media, media player and a separate media player button, which is not the case in many other TVs. So we select this, and we select the video. Isn't that cool? So you just click on tools and then if you have this thing mounted you'll have to peek below because once you've done this you're set for oh yeah, I don't, it's already on repeat mode just repeat this file and uh, it will repeat this file over and over As you can see. So I got out the beautiful aluminum finished floor that you can place in front of the screen like so. Or if your cabinet isn't deep enough just slide it under. Then we place the very cool four panel consoles and let's get our figures in and see how we do. Alright, so the final thing you will find in your box are these optional um, clips. Um, they've been drilled and you will find the uh, metal bolts so the non-black ones are, are for these. Um, they are countersunk, so just twist them in. And on the sides here, there's, uh, there's actual uh, thread in there. 
So you only use this if you have it freestanding uh, to keep the the screen uh, from uh, falling slowly backwards through metal fatigue. If you place it inside of a um, a best uh, best start or a stuva or or any cabinet, just slide it to the back uh, because these. Uh, because these metal uh, things have been bent so that the television fits in, which makes it wider than uh, the IKEA standard. So um, these are only if you don't have the back of a cabinet to support the television. Okay, so enjoy and uh, talk to you on the next video.